What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete columns and rows for your data frames in Pandas. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at deleting columns and rows, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, I showed you how to add columns. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove columns. And while we're at it, we'll look at rows too. So we've got our code that we had in the last video. I've just renamed this file delete underscore column underscore row. As always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Panda series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we're just importing pandas as PD, importing NumPy as MP importing our CVS file. And here we have just a little bit of data here. We've got breed, color, dog name, and owner zip. In the last video, we added this gender column. I went ahead and kept that for this video. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and remove that gender column. And then I'll show you how to do the same thing for rows as well. So if we come down here, it's really easy to remove columns in pandas. We just call our data frame, my underscore DF, and then we wanna call the dot drop function. So now we just need to designate what column we wanna drop. So if we type in gender, it's, you're almost there, but if we run this, we're gonna get an error. And you're gonna see down here in the error that says gender is not found in axis. Now, what in the world is axis? Now, this confuses some people because what's an axis? It's kind of weird. But an axis is either this top column heading or the row headings. So we can come through here and we could shift tab if we want to look at the documentation here. And we can see we need an axis and you can see by default it's zero. So what does that mean? Well, zero are these row headings. So here's zero, one, two, three, four, these bold numbers here, that's the zero axis. These column headings, breed, color, dog name, owner, zip, and gender, that's the one axis. So it's, you just have to kind of memorize that. It's kind of weird. It's not really intuitive that, you know, this top thing is the oneth axis. So, you know, you might forget from time to time, but you'll get that error. We could just set that to one. So now if we run this, boom, it looks like our gender column has been dropped. It's been deleted. But if we come down here and run our data frame again, we're gonna see it's back. So what's going on here? Well, Pandas knows that we are dumb humans and we make mistakes a lot. I know I've made mistakes a lot where I've deleted things that I did not want deleted. So kind of by default, it'll let you drop things for specific function. For instance, just in this cell, it's been dropped, but it hasn't been permanently deleted. And in fact, if we come over here and shift tab again and look at the documentation, you see we have this in place option and it's a Boolean and by default it's set to false. Now in place means are we deleting it in place permanently or are we not deleting it in place permanently? And by default, you see it's false, so it's saying, no, don't delete it permanently. So if we actually do want to delete this permanently, we just have to set the in place to true. So now if we go ahead and run this and then come down here and run this cell again, you see, sure enough, it's been deleted forever. So sort of has been deleted forever and it definitely has, but of course, our original CSV file hasn't been deleted. So the data is still there if it was there or in our, play, in our case, we added this column right here. So if we really wanted to, we could come back and just run this guy again, shift enter to run this, we see here it is. Then if we took this out and ran this again, and then ran this again, it would be back again, right? So it's deleted sort of, but not because you can always pull it back from your CSV file. So just sort of keep that in mind. So let me put this back in here and run this. Okay, so that's a quick and easy way to remove columns. Now there are other ways to remove columns and maybe we'll talk about those other ways in other videos, but for now, we just wanna look at the drop function and super easy. So now to remove a row, it's the exact same process. We just come down here, my underscore DEF dot drop, and now just name our row. So if we wanna get rid of this three, we could just type in three here. Now, if we run this, we'll notice zero, one, two, and three is gone. Now notice I didn't put this in quotation marks because these are numbers. I did use quotation marks up here because those are strings. Use quotation marks with strings. You never use quotation marks with numbers in any Python programming of any sort, not just this. So that's why I did that. Now, if we go ahead, same thing, and run my underscore DF here, we'll see that three is back again. Now, also keep in mind, remember when we first ran this one without designating the axis, 
it gave us an error. But down here, it did not, even though I did not assign an access to this. Why? Well, if we shift tab again and look at the documentation, like I said earlier, the access by default is zero. So by default, it's already looking in these row headers, right? So you don't have to say up here, you know, uh, access equals zero. I recommend that you do because it's easy to forget this access thing and it's easy to forget which access is which. So if you're just in the habit of always typing access zero for rows and access one for columns, you'll remember it better in the future and you won't forget which access is which, right? So I always just type in access equals zero just so I remember because I don't remember things like this very well. And this sort of reinforces it in my own brain. So again, if you want to delete this permanently, you just in place equals true. I don't think we want to do that. So I'll just leave it off for this one. Uh, but we did up here for this one. So our gender thing is definitely gone. If we run this again, boom, yeah, that's gone. And there you go. So a quick and easy way to delete your columns and rows in pandas. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.